All right, so today we're working with Hyde and he has some reactivity to the door sound. Um, so I'm just gonna stand up, get a better view. So um, now that he's barking, what I want the guardian to do is just kind of encourage him to walk a little farther away into the kitchen. Just because he's barking, his over otherwise his energy level is pretty good. And keep the leash loose. See if you can just kind of talk to him to encourage him to walk away. Awesome, good. Good, see how he stopped barking and he's calming down? Um, this is kind of like what we want to see. Leash is nice and loose, so that way we want to do as little work as possible. We essentially want the, the leash to be there as like an emergency airbag in a car. It's there if you need it to keep him from running forward and um, when he, if he were to try to bolt. However, otherwise you don't really want to have to use it. It'll make the transition from going getting off leash about as quick as possible. And um, when there's tension on the leash, nice, good. Um, it can create um, some stress for the dog. So again, he's moving pretty naturally, and now he's able to kind of come over to greet, and you kept the leash pretty loose. Um, I did get a little bit in the way with me being on the camera, um, but this is pretty much all you wanna see. His tail's up a little higher than what we would typically say is good, but he's kept a nice, relaxed body posture, and um, has had pretty calm energy and didn't start bolting or running in a beeline fashion, so we're gonna say that that's okay. Typically, what you wanna look for as a signal is having his tail about where it's at now, or at least level with his spine, to be indicators that he's calm enough to kind of move forward, and you wanna just follow him around. Um, whenever he's this kind of calm and let him be the one to choose to move forward, so he learns how he can walk nice and relaxed on the leash to greet people at the door instead of kind of barging forward and getting overexcitable. If you were to get overexcitable, even when he's almost at some to see somebody, that's when you wanna help him move away by calling his name, patting your leg, or if you have to kind of pull him back on the leash just to teach him how to gain that kind of self, um, self control. Awesome, so this is how we're gonna help Hyde, Hyde, uh, learn how to relax when people come to the door.